Okay, and talk nice and loud so I can okay, get this again. Okay, so first thing is you keep your foot on the little pedal there. That keeps it from wiggling on you. Mm -hmm. So this is how I play. Mm -hmm. Usually I adjust it. Now come on up here. Okay. I hold it so that my right arm is kind of at a 90 degree angle, you see right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm plucking it somewhere down below these dots. And then usually I adjust the height, and you adjust the height on the back with those two knobs. Mm -hmm. I adjust it so this thing here is just about at my eye level. Mm -hmm. That's just the way that it works for me, and if it works for you, I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Okay, and where are the knobs that you, can you turn These it? These are the just tuning so knobs yeah. up here. Yeah. Oh, it, the uh, knobs it, you adjust the height are yeah. on the back here. These two, you take these out. And you put them in, you adjust it to whatever height you want it, put mm -hmm. them back in, and okay. it's adjustable in two inch increments. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. So then, um, I'll first, uh, next, I'm going to show you the tuning. The tuning is tarot patch, which is a slack key tuning, and it's G, B, D. So you have, you have a piano. Mm -hmm. Think of uh, Good Boy Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good mm -hmm. Boy Dan. G, B, D. Mm -hmm. And sometimes again. it's hard for you to hear that register. You can do the same thing up here on this 12th dot. This is also a G up here. Mm -hmm. If it's easier for you to hear it up there, that's mm -hmm. G, B, D. Okay, now, okay. could you do that again? Because it's G. G. Like G, mm -hmm. B, D. Now are you doing, uh, can you turn that this way so I can see all three strings as okay. you're doing that? Yeah. Okay. Ah, I see. So you're just holding the one at the one dot and going across all right. three. And it should sound the same if I take my fingers off. So same relative right. to one another. Okay, and so where did you have your finger when you were tuning that? At the what? very end dot, the very last one. That's the last one towards the floor. Yeah, because this is C, the middle one is C, yeah. D, E, F, G. I see. So there's a G chord. Got it. All right, play All right. Thank you. All right. And the next thing is plucking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do it playing a G chord, so I won't even use my left hand. I'm going to just hold the stick, and I'm going to pluck it with my thumb okay, I'm and my in. pointer finger. Okay, I'm going to go around this way and go in kind of tight so I can see that plucking, because that's really important. Yeah. In fact, that's the most important thing a bass does is keep rhythm. Mm -hmm. So the tighter you can make that rhythm, the more happy people you're going to have. You know how I tell when I'm doing my job well? People in the audience tap their foot. Ah, interesting. If you don't see people tapping their feet, you have to work harder at getting your rhythm nice and crisp. Yeah, because there's, oh. no, there's no percussion going there, right. is there? Right, there's no drums in an ukulele band. There's just you and the, and the ukuleles. I'm going to get you around this way to see how far you take your fingers off that. Interesting. Keep going, okay. You mind? And you'll notice I'm not even playing the middle string. No, no. And in general, I don't have to. Mm -hmm. The middle string is there for special effects, and I'll show you what that's like in a minute. But usually it's the two outside strings that do all the work on this bass. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so that's a G chord, and that's thump, thump, thump. Yep. <laughs> Your job as a percussionist, yeah. as a bass player, is to provide the right bass note to make everything feel like it's holding together, and to keep the rhythm nicely so that everybody strums with you. Great. And um, in a, if you're playing with good musicians, you'll know it because they will follow you, the bass player. Ah, yeah. If they don't follow you, 
then you have to smack them upside the head. <laughs> Let them know, hey, I'm the bass player. You follow the bass player. <laughs> That's what the percussionist says. Unless right? there's a drummer, then everybody follows the, the drummer. The drummer, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, certain types of songs, you'll use the middle string. And when, it, when you do that, I use these three fingers. And I'll go... Now come over on this side and take a close up of what I'm doing with my finger up here on the on the dot. Oh, okay. I'm kind of bouncing it up and down. Yeah. Because as I lift up, it causes the string to go dead. Ah, very interesting. Very interesting. So that makes it even crisper. Yeah, show that again. Sort of advanced technique. Yeah. That's right. You're getting all the goods here. Okay, and then you'll right. notice I'm playing the large dot in the middle of the neck. Yeah. Which is what note? Uh, the large in the middle. That's C? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the big dot in the middle is C. C. Mm -hmm. When you start playing with uh, most beginning musicians, learn in the key of C. Willie plays a lot. Willie and his ukulele group play oh, the yeah? key of C, C, the key of mm -hmm. F, and the key of G. So right. I printed those out for you. Oh, great. Okay? Yeah, and that's the one you have with the arrows on, huh? That's right. Uh, but are they the same ones I printed off the website? No, this is slightly different. I haven't put these on the website yet, but oh, okay. I will. Okay. If you come down here, okay. can you see these? This is the oh, key yeah. of C, and you'll notice there's three pictures. Right. This is the C chord. It says here the C uh -huh. chord, this is the F chords, and this is the G chords. Okay. So those are the three chords usually found in a song that's in the key of C. Uh -huh. So if I was playing a song like, um, oh gosh, I hate to sing, but... Um, I'll try it. So there's the key of C. Okay. C, 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 and F, 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 and G, 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 and C, C, C. See how now, easy that now is? Now when you come down, uh, when you when you go off of C and come down, I yep. notice you lift your finger a little bit. Is that I have to lift this finger? To, yes, it No, is. no, I mean on, on when you go, you're holding your finger and then you go, you pluck, but you lift your finger on some of those. Yeah, I don't pluck with my thumb and fin pointer finger until I've got my got this guy down against the wood. Yeah. But I notice, you know, when you pluck, after you pluck, you also lift that finger on yes. your left hand, the yes. uh, pointer finger. And you know, I think you're the first person I've ever taught that trick to. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, I should teach but that But I could to see everybody. that, you know, when I was looking at both hands and when I did a close-up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sort of that last joint of the yeah. uh, index finger That's comes right. up. And did you see what I just did? I did a, something the, the, like a walk down. Yep, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is the delicious thing that basses always do. Oh, they, they little love walk that. Downs you know, or walk ups. They get a, they get a little highlight on that. Huh? <laughs> you know, right. so, showcase the uh, the right. technique. That's right. So that is so cool. If you're playing in the key of C. Yeah. The, the chord, C chord, mm -hmm. up to F. Oh, yes. That is so clever. Up to G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And down to C. So you, you're kind of doing a little quarter note jumps there yeah. or something, yeah? So I'll know that you're a professional when I see you doing that. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't take much Don't to be hold a your breath. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay, so that's the key of C.